Yo! Right, God, it's so cold today, it's actually freezing. Okay, we're at my compound. You've seen this location, I've done a tour of my compound, but it was way messier, the grass was long, there was weeds everywhere. My friend came and took all the weeds away on his own without asking, what a legend. Um, and I've strimmed the grass, spent four hours and three tanks of fuel cutting this grass. And it looks way better. Harry Main came and had a big sesh, so luckily things were tidy then. He really enjoyed it. He's coming back to send it and do some tricks, apparently. And I put the WD-40 logo back on the vert wall at the end. So, things are looking way better, and i kind of more stoked on it. You know when you clean your car or you tidy your bedroom, you're just more into things and more stoked? That's how I feel now. I just feel like I want to ride here more. But you know this location, you've seen it. So, what today's video is about, and what I kind of wanted to make this vlog about and talk to you about is my car. So I've got a van, but I've also had this for a year. It's a BMW 335D and I think, and feel free to slate me in the comments, but I think this is the perfect mountain bike car. I've had quite a few fast cars, slow cars, different cars, and I've always been a professional mountain biker and into mountain bikes. And I think this is by far the best one I've had for it. So it's a BMW 335D, which is a three series, with a three litre diesel, twin turbo, inline six cylinder engine. So it produces just under 300 horsepower, but I've remapped it to 350 brake. But you've got to look with diesels at the torque figures. So torque is like usable power, and this has got 500 foot pound of torque. And because of that, there's quite a lot of speculation with these cars as to whether they're actually faster than M3s and can be made faster than M3s, insanely fast cars, RS4s, stuff like that, just because of that torque. So, quite cool really that a diesel car that does like 45 miles to the gallon on the motorway can tear past your kind of chavvy, two litre turbo cars like that. So, um, it's got a few features which I'm pretty into. It's actually completely stock, like your car, Scott, you love modding, haven't you? You've done all the mods. Yeah. We'll show them that later, actually. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's completely stock. It's got the two twin pipes there, which only the 335 has. They look quite sick. Nice little hatch there where you can check out the uh, the German Shepherds in the back, all your kids, see that they haven't run away. Don't have any of those things, but you might. Um, the best thing, being a big estate, is, is kind of a van car, because you can just launch your bike in, both wheels on, in the boot like that. It's not hard, sling it in, two bikes even, slam boot, jump in, drive, you're at the jumps, you're ready to go. Loads of people have saloons, coupe cars, that they are quite a lot of faff actually. Um, and since buying an estate a few years ago, I'm not gonna go back, like, I think estates are the way to go. Um, you have got roof rails, so you can put a roof rack on it, but they just, you can just fit so much stuff in these cars. And like, the interior is pretty sick actually. It's full leather, heated seats, sat nav, cup holders. That's a huge, a huge benefit. Um, no, yeah, I think it's a really cool car. However, despite talking this whole time about how sick it is for a mountain biker car, I am kind of shopping around quite a lot. I'm looking on Auto Trader at other cars and got a few ideas. I want to know what maybe a better mountain bike car would be. So I still want to be able to put bikes in the back or on the roof but I'd quite like something that makes a bit more noise because the one thing about this car, which doesn't tick all the boxes, is the sound. It's just a diesel, which sounds a bit like the train I used to get to school or a tractor. It just doesn't have any real oomph about it. So even though you can go flying past someone with all the bikes in the back, if you're not looking, you wouldn't know. It doesn't sound very cool, which is kind of cool. It's a bit of a sleeper, but like, actually this, I'll turn it on now. <laughs> well, that was me really revving it and it's just it just doesn't have that fire about it does it so maybe something with a big v8 lump or v6 or just petrol would put a smile on my face however it's still so good it's so good on fuel so good for mountain biking and that's why I think this is probably the best mountain bike car, but I'll leave it up to you guys in the comments to tell me. Okay, today's video is a little bit shorter than normal. However, I want the comments to absolutely explode 
with your ideas for future videos and I don't care how mental they are. Do you want me to strap 10 fire extinguishers to my bike and do a backflip? Stuff like that because I've got loads of time and nothing's actually that impossible. Don't say go to the moon, I'm not going to the moon. But like just stupid or funny or even cool ideas to do in my YouTube videos. So comment below. Don't feel like it's too ridiculous because I want to make most of them happen if I can. So thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe. If you do want to, click here. And other than that, see you in future videos to come. And thanks for watching.